everyone. On this rather gloomy day, here we are going over our essays and hopefully we can get something good out of it. And I hope you're all working on your essays right now because the final drafts are due by November 3rd at noon. So please keep that date in mind. I just uploaded the Turnitin link. I created a new folder. So just click on that folder. The only link there will be that Turnitin link that you click on and upload. So about the essays, they need to be five to six full pages, double spaced. So please make sure you're fulfilling that requirement and you do need your works cited page at the end. That does not count as one of those pages. It's just an additional thing that you're completing. Um, it should be an MLA format. The Little Seagull Handbook will help you with all questions related to creating that page and I also made a discussion board specifically for questions if you have them. Um, now for revising and editing, I just wanted to go over some things. I'm noticing a trend on a lot of the essays. So this is something called narrative voice, and a lot of you are switching back and forth. Um, and we really shouldn't be doing that in these essays. Okay, so first person. First person voice is I, right? It's I, me, myself. That's what your personal essay was. So you said, you know, I experienced this, I felt this way, this impacted me, etc. Right? Then we have second person, which is the you format. You is only directed outwardly, right? So you're saying, um, let me explain it to you, right? So you does not include yourself. You're targeting a specific audience with you, right? Third person, okay, would be he, she, it, they, etc., right? But what we're going to do is for this essay, since this is, is a different tone completely, we're not using first person unless it's a story that we're telling about ourselves or you're making a suggestion. You could say, like, I believe or I experienced, which is fine, uh, but we're not going to shift to you, okay? A lot of us have been shifting to you, so we're not going to do that. We're going to say we or us, so you're still including yourself, and you're not shifting to you, okay? So instead of saying um, you face many challenges when entering college, you could say we face many challenges when entering college, right? So it's not I, and it's not you, it's we, okay? Now, verb tenses. I only got into the really simple ones here, but there are many more we know, of course, with participles and all these other things. But just for the moment, okay, I just want to distinguish between these again. Um, if we haven't yet done that, I think we touched on it a bit before, but right, past tense, something that's completed that's already happened, right? Present tense, what's happening right now, right? Future tense, what will happen in the future, what will or shall. Those are the two words that indicate the future, right? Shall sounds kind of old fashioned, but we usually say will. Conditional is should, could, and would. And that is depending upon a condition, right? If certain conditions are present, then this will happen. So um, for past tense, I'm just gonna give a couple of examples, okay, really quickly. So, okay, my cat slept on the couch, okay? So my cat slept, past tense. Right? My cat sleeps on the couch, happening right now, right? Or we could say is sleeping, depending upon the action that we're um, addressing. Now, future, my cat will sleep on the couch, or she shall sleep on the couch, or conditional. If it is quiet, my cat would sleep on the couch. So you see the difference? We can't say would to indicate something that already happened. A lot of you have been doing that. You're saying like, um, in your essay, let's say you were explaining something that you used to do frequently. You say, I would wake up every morning and go to cook an omelet. Okay, instead of saying I would, you would say I used to wake up every morning and go cook an omelet. Would means conditional. So that would be, you know, if I woke up early enough, I would cook an omelet. See the difference? Okay, so that's narrative voice, that's verb tenses. Um, of course, there's other issues as well, and if you have questions about things that I wrote on your essay, please post them in the workshop for this essay so that I specifically can look at that and address those questions. Okay, see you soon.